Hello guys, this is Sir EJ and welcome again for another math tutorial. In today's topic, we will be discussing all about how to solve problems involving quadratic inequalities. These are the following objectives we need to attain for today's topic. Letter A, solve problems involving quadratic inequalities. And letter B, appreciate the application of quadratic inequalities in real life situation. These are the steps we need to consider or we need to follow in solving problems involving quadratic inequality. The first step is we need to read and analyze the problem. Next step is to represent the unknown. Third step is to form a quadratic inequality. The next one is we need to solve for the roots or the critical values of the quadratic inequality. The fifth step is to make a table to test the possible values that will satisfy the problem. And for our last step, we need to write a conclusion. Let's solve our first problem. In response to Bayanihan to Heal as one act, the barangay captain of Malagasang one has offered the barangay hall that will be used as an isolation room for the infected imusenyos of coronavirus disease in case of urgency. If the width of the hall is 12 meter less than its length, and the area of its floor is less than or equal to 189 square meters, find the possible maximum dimensions of the hole. So the first step is we need to represent the problem. We will let x be the length of the barangay hole and let x minus 12 be its width. So we are dealing with the floor of the barangay hall, which is a rectangular floor. So we will be using the formula area is equal to length times width. So for our mathematical equation, the area of its floor is less than or equal to 189 square meters. So if it is less than or equal, our formula will be length times the width is less than or equal to the area. So this will be our working formula. And all we need to do is to substitute the corresponding value. The value of the length will be equal to x and the value of the width is equal to x minus 12. Then we have the less than and equal symbol and the value of the area is equal to 189 square meters. So this will be our working inequality. The quantity of x times the quantity x minus 12 is less than or equal to 189. And with that, our next step is to simplify this equation. So we will perform associative property. So x times x will be equal to x squared x times negative 12 will be equal to negative 12x less than or equal to 189. And then after that, we will transpose 189 to the other side of the equation. Positive 189, it will become negative 189. And then we will solve the roots or the critical values. No? So pag sinolve natin to, gagawin muna natin siyang quadratic equation. Papaltan muna natin yung less than or equal ng equal symbol. So this will be our equation and solve natin yung roots or critical values. So ang gawin natin is using the factoring method. So I have here the factors na finactor ko na. So sinorkat ko na kasi naturo na natin yung factoring method on our previous videos. So the factor of x squared is x times x. Lagay natin yung x dito, yung dalawang x. 
And then after that, we will think of a number na kapag may multiply, ang sagot ay magiging negative 189. Tapos pag pinagsama or pag pinag-add, ang magiging sagot ay negative 12. So negative 21 times 9 will be equal to negative 189. Negative 21 plus 9 will be equal to negative 12. So tama. So this will be the factor. Then after that, pag nakuha na natin yung mga factor, we will perform the zero product property. So x minus 21 will be equal to zero. Then negative 21 transpose, it will become positive 21. For the other roots or critical value, x plus 9 will be equal to zero. Transpose positive 9, it will become negative 9. So the roots or the critical values of our quadratic inequality is positive 21 and negative 9. So this will be the boundary points or the critical values. Then after that, let's create the solution set. So kapag ang inequality symbol natin ay less than or equal, tatandaan natin na kapag ang inequality symbol natin ay less than or equal sign, kasama sa solution set natin yung mga numbers or yung critical values natin na 21 and negative 9. So for our set notation, we have x such that x is greater than or equal to negative 9 and which is less than or equal to 21. Then for the interval notation, we have the values from negative 9 to 21 are the possible solution set. So meaning to say yung mga possible solution set natin is yung mga numbers from negative 9 to 21. So kasama yung negative 9, kasama din yung negative 10, pwede ding negative 11 hanggang positive 21. That will be our possible solution set for this quadratic inequality. So the next step is to substitute our solution set with the value of the length and the width and see if it satisfies the given equation. So we will start with negative 9. Pero since we have a negative number dito, bawal maging sagot yung negative 9 kasi wala naman tayong length na negative. No? Pag sinabstitute rin natin dito yung negative 9 sa x, negative 9, minus 12 will be equal to negative 21, which is wala rin tayong negative na width. So, ibig sabihin, lahat ng negative numbers sa ating solution set ay hindi magiging sagot dito sa ating quadratic inequality problem. So, next one, since hindi na pwede yung mga negative number, try natin yung zero. Pero since uh, length, wala naman tayong length na zero, bawal din yung zero try na natin yung positive 1. So, kung x is equal to 1, so, 1 minus 12 will be equal to negative 11. So, negative pa rin yung width. So, bawal pa rin yun. So, ibig sabihin, positive 1 hanggang positive 11 ay hindi pa rin natin magiging solution set. Kasi yung 11 minus 12, negative pa rin yung kalalabasan ng width. No? So, wala naman tayong negative na dimension. So, mag start na tayo sa positive 12. So, 12 will be equal to x. Then, 12 minus 12 is equal to 0. Again, nag-0 siya. So, ibig sabihin, hindi natin pwedeng maging possible solution set yung 12 kasi nag-0 yung value ng ating dimension. So, wala naman tayong 0 na width. And then, start na tayo sa next number which is positive 13. If x is equal to 13, then length is equal to 13. Then, 13 minus 12, so yung width natin ay equal sa 1. So, 13 times 1, kasi length times width will be equal to 13. Is 13 less than or equal to 189? So, possible. Kasi nasatisfy na natin yung given quadratic inequality. So, ibig sabihin, yung mga solution set natin is mag start sa 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, hanggang 21. At ang tinatanong dito is ano yung possible na maximum dimensions ng floor no? ng barangay malagasang 1. So, ang possible niyan is syempre yung pinakamalaking number which is 21. So, length will be equal to 21. 21 minus 12 will be equal to 9. Then, 21 times 9 will be equal to 189. So, 189 is less than or equal to 189. So, possible siya. So, ibig sabihin, ang dalawang dimensions natin, 
pinakamalaking dimensions ng barangay hall ng Malagasang 1 will be equal to 21 meters and 9 meters. Let's have our next problem. Gulayan sa paaralan in Malagasang 1 Elementary School inspire us to do gardening to help fight global warming and also to ensure the availability of fresh vegetables for the conduct of feeding programs. With that, the school has provided a lot area of approximately less than 130 square meters for the horticulture classes. The garden length is 3 meter more than the width. Find all the possible dimensions of the garden. So, the first step is we need to represent our problem. We will let x be the width of the garden and x plus 3 be its length. Our mathematical equation will be a lot area of approximately less than 130 meters squared. So we have an inequality symbol here. We have a less than. So our formula will be length times width less than the area. All we need to do is to substitute the corresponding value. The length will be equal to the quantity x plus 3 times the value of the width, which is equal to x, which is less than to the area, which is equal to 130 square meters. Then after that, we will solve for the given quadratic inequality. All we need to do is to replace the less than symbol by equal symbol to solve this using any methods in solving the quadratic equation. Transpose positive 130, it will become negative 130. Then solve this using the factoring method. So factors ng x squared is x times x. So lagay lang natin yung dalawang x dito. Factors ng negative 130 is 13 times negative 10. And then, dapat pag pinagsama natin, magiging sagot ay positive 3. So, 13 minus 10 will be equal to 3. 13 times negative 10 is negative 130. Therefore, the factors that we have got is correct. Then, after that, we will perform the zero product property. x plus 13 equate by 0. Positive 13 transpose to the other side of the equation. Positive 13, it will become negative 13. So, our first root. Our critical value is equal to negative 13. Then, negative 10 transpose, magiging positive na siya. So, our second critical value is equal to 10. So, this will be the boundary points or the critical values of our given quadratic inequality. After that, gawa na tayo ng solution set. So, for our set notation, we have x such that x is greater than negative 13 and less than 10. For our interval notation, so we have the values of x between negative 13 and 10. So the next step is we will substitute the possible solution set with our equation. So ang solution set natin is yung mga numbers in between negative 13 and positive 10. So ibig sabihin yung mga numbers na negative 12, negative 11, negative 10, hanggang positive 9, yun yung isa substitute natin. Pero since we are dealing with dimensions of a rectangle, bawal yung mga negative numbers. So, ibig sabihin, bawal na agad yung negative 12 hanggang negative 1 kasi wala tayong negative na dimensions. Bawal din yung 0 kasi wala tayong width na equal sa 0. So, ibig sabihin, mag start yung solution set natin with positive 1. So, kung positive 1 siya mag start so, substitute yung 1 sa width, so width will be equal to 1. Sa length, 1 plus 3 is equal to 4. So, 1 times 4 is equal to 4. So, 4 is less than 130. So, pwede din yung 2, 2 yung width, tapos yung length 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. Then, pwede din yung 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Pwede rin yung 9. So, pag 9 naman, yung width natin will be equal to 9. Yung length, 9 plus 3 will be equal to 12. So, 9 times 12 will be equal to 108, less than 130, so possible pa rin. Then, pag 10, yung x natin, so width will be equal to 10. Yung length natin, 10 plus 3 will be equal to 13. So, 10 times 13 is equal to 130. So, is 130 less than 130? So, hindi siya, no? So, ibig sabihin, not possible siya. So, therefore, the possible dimensions of a rectangular garden are 1 meter by 4 meters, 
2 meters by 5 meters, 9 meters by 12 meters, pwede din namang yung 3 meters by 6 meters, 4 meters by 7 meters, 5 meters by 8 meters, 6 meters by 9 meters, 7 meters by 10 meters, 8 meters by 11 meters. So, kasama din yun. Lahat yun ay possible.